What's good YouTube? In this video, we're gonna be showing you one of my favorite passing concepts as of late out of the bunch tight end formation. Uh, this play does a really, really good job at attacking the man-to-man -man coverage meta. Also pretty decent at beating zone as well. If you guys wanna get my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. That's gonna be linked down in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates to the ebooks. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, make sure to sign up for it. The link's gonna be down in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to everything over there. All right, guys, so PA boot over out of bunch tight end. This is a really good setup out of PA boot over. Really, really good against man coverage specifically. Um, so what, how are we going to run this play? What I like to do with this is um, we're going to put our tight end on a tight end apprentice post. And because of that tight end apprentice post, we're going to take this left side slot receiver, um, Cromartie here, and we're just going to put him on a clear out, like a streak or a fade to clear out the space. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this outside bunch receiver and put him on a slant. And it's going to give us kind of a, a couple different high lows over the middle of the field. Motion mount snap just before he sets. Your first read against man coverage is Harold Carmichael. If he is open, please throw him the ball because he is probably the best route at attacking man to man coverage um, in this formation. Now, one of the beauties of having the slot receiver on a fade route or some type of clear out route um, is that it will clear out any deep blue zones that they might be putting over there on that side. It's like if they put a third over there, you see the third runs with him and then Walker is open, or, um, and then my uh, tight end is wide open on the sideline. Now, the other thing that this does is now they're forced to make kind of a decision. Do they want to put a cloud flat uh, over here on this side? So they have to hard flat on one side. They have to put a cloud flat on another side. There's a lot of adjusting that they're going to have to do to stop this play. And then the beauty of this uh, cloud flat, hard flat dilemma is that this little motion slant is the ultimate backbreaker route. You'll see it just cooks man coverage right inside. It's one of my favorite routes this year because it's, it's literally almost as effective as it was in Madden 17, just really, really effective at getting open against both man coverage and zone. Now I'm gonna jump into cover four and show you some stuff against zone with this. So if you do get zone coverage, um, again, you have to trust that this clear out route will clear out the zones if they are vertical. So you see right here, cover four, that's gonna clear that out. The tight end is wide open. So now the user has to choose in the middle of the field. Am I gonna go guard the tight end or am I gonna go guard either the slant or the first shallow cross coming across the formation? If they are not playing hard flat coverage, so let's say they have their purples on 10 or they're playing like cover three or cover four stock, right? If they're not if they're not playing hard flats, this route to Carmichael will be open. So it's always your first read. You wanna force them to have to defend that route uh, because that route is really hard to defend. Let me give you an example. So I'm gonna jump into cover four real quick. And what you'll notice with this is when I run this concept, Carmichael on this right side, you see hard flat. If I uh, wait on this, I can then throw, I gotta wait just a little bit longer, um, but I can throw the slant route against a hard flat. So that drag is gonna basically clear out any hard flat coverage. And I'll show you, there's two windows. Um, there's actually three windows, but you can throw the slant in a lot of different uh, pockets. So you'll see right here, that streak's gonna clear out zone. A lot of times what you can do which that was a little bit of a poor example. Um, but a lot of times what you can do is you can hit that route like right when it cuts inside. Now, if you can't, for whatever reason, hit that route, just be patient. It will come open. You'll see right here, here's our flat. He's going to stay with him, stay with him. And then we can throw the ball kind of right over in here. Make sure you ag the ball. But again, understand what does this do to their user defender, all right? What does this do to their user defender? So what their user defender has to do is he has to choose, right? So right here, I'm gonna choose. So I'm gonna take away the tight end route. The tight end route is gonna be my route to take away. The beauty of this is if they don't shade underneath, another thing that'll happen is Barry will clear out these zones and then you can throw the ball with a pass lead down. You have to pass lead it down, not free form or down, just simple uh, pass lead down and you can hit that over the middle of the field. Now, this is also very true even if they're in a cover three defense where they have two hook curls. So what you'll see here, Again, your first read is always Carmichael. If they're not gonna guard him, you're throwing the ball to him. Here, pass it down, click on Ag, and you see there, it's an easy five yards pretty much every single time. So it's really hard for them to uh, attack this play. Now, another thing uh, that I did wanna quickly mention here is if they blitz you. So if they give you a sin five pressure, you are blocking your running back in this play, so you're gonna have decent pass protection and you're in a play action play. So I see here, Blitz gets picked up, man coverage. I know my slant will always beat man coverage to the inside. 
and you see how effective this play really is. Now, another little thing that you can do is what this basically forces is it's going to force them into cover two, okay? Because they're going to need the cloud flat over on the left side to stop the tight end route. So what you can do um, is basically this right here. So we're going to take Carmichael and put him on a slant. We're going to leave this deep post route, and then we're still going to streak Cromartie. So you see it looks just like this. Now what you have is you've created a really, really good cover two bomb if they are ever running a lot of cover two coverage. So it's a way that you can kind of mix two concepts into one uh, to create a really, really good passing play. This is truly one of my favorite plays in the game right now, um, just because it's really good at attacking both man and zone. And this motion snap slant is absolutely incredible. Guys, if you want to get my entire bunch tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's down in the description. 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there. All of our ebooks, all of our updates. Just dropped a brand new defense or a brand new version of the dollar defense this last week. Getting a lot of great feedback on that. We're going to be dropping some new stuff offensively in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching the video. Head down to the Patreon or, or to the description and go join the Patreon at the link down below.